All right. It is Saturday, September 29, 2018, at 12.51 p.m. Let's take a look at some headlines. F-35 fighter jet program suffers first crash. The U.S. military has suffered the first crash of its hugely expensive A-35 fighter jet program. The F-35B jet came down in South Carolina, the Marine Corps said. The pilot managed to safely eject and there were no injuries. The Marine said in a statement that an investigation into the cause of the crash is underway. The F-35 is the largest and most expensive weapons program of its type in the world. Global sales are projected at more than 3,000 aircraft, and the program is likely to last some 30 to 40 years. But the program has been criticized both for cost and combat effectiveness. The jet involved in the incident is believed to have cost around $100 million, although the new Pentagon contract announced on Friday that for a record 141 F-35 jets has brought the cost down to around $89.2 million per aircraft according to Reuters. The model is one of three varieties of F-35 series in operation. On Thursday, the U.S. carried out its first operation of the F-35B against Taliban targets in Afghanistan, four months after the Israeli military announced it had used it, the F-35A to carry out two separate strikes. All right, so that's a very expensive uh, jet to have crashed in South Carolina. God bless to that pilot, and hopefully they'll figure out what caused that crash? All right, next, skull-shaped death comet asteroid will fly by Earth after Halloween. The eerie space rock will zoom past Earth on November 11th. It will arrive too late for Halloween this year, but an eerie skull-shaped asteroid that some are calling the death comet is coming back for another visit. On November 11th, asteroid 2015 TB145 will zoom past Earth at a distance of 25 million miles. The first observed flyby of the ghoulish space rock occurred October 31st, 2015. At that time, the space rock, NASA dubbed the, the Great Pumpkin Asteroid, flew past a much closer distance of about 300 uh, miles, 300,000 miles. The moon orbits Earth at an average distance of 239,000 miles. With a diameter of, only, of roughly 2,000 feet, the asteroid is too small and too far away to be seen with the naked eye. It was discovered on October 10, 2015 by the Pond Stars 1 telescope high atop the dormant Halekala volcano on the Hawaiian island of Maui. Alright, so that spooky skull-shaped death comet asteroid is going to pass by early after, um, before or after Halloween. Alright, so that's going to be spooky. Next, Air Nagini plane comes down in Micronesia Lagoon. A passenger aircraft has come down in the lagoon of Chuk International Airport in Micronesia after it missed the runway, airport officials said. The Air New Guinea plane from Papua New Guinea was seen sitting on a shallow water just off the coast. Locals responded by approaching the plane in small vessels to help rescue the 36 passengers and 11 crew. Hospital officials told routers that four passengers were in serious condition after the crash. The aircraft was flying from the islands of Pomfe and Micronesia to Port Moresby, the capital of Papua New Guinea, stopping at Micronesia, Ueno Island on the way. Air New Guinea said Boeing 737-800 has landed short on the runway amid reduced visibility due to rain and poor weather. An investigation is due to begin, airports officials said. You see here the plane in the water and the small boats um, trying to pick up the people and passengers. That is kind of a sight to see. People don't usually expect to have a water landing, but if you miss the airway, the, the runway, then you get this. Thank God everybody's safe. Alright, next... World War II bombs felt in space. The bombs used by Allied forces during World War II were so large they weakened the Earth's atmo upper atmosphere. The air rates turned to rubble and ash, but, but new research shows shockwaves could be felt up to 1,000 kilometers above the UK. Chris Scott from the University of Reading said, I was absolutely astonished when I found out 
Each raid released the energy of at least 300 sh lightning strikes. It's, ho it's now hoped the research will give us a better understanding of how natural forces such as lightning, volcanic eruptions, and earthquakes can affect Earth's upper atmosphere. Researchers studied daily records kept on the Radio Research Center in Slough, UK. They looked at how the concentrations of electrons changed in the upper atmosphere around the time of 152 Allied raids in Europe, including raids on Berlin and those in support of the Normandy landings. The data showed the concentration of electrons fell significantly, significantly when a bomb was detonated, which churned heated the upper atmosphere. This caused a small but significant depletion in the ionosphere above Slough, when though the bombs were deployed hundreds of miles away. But Chris Scott admits that these were very temporary effects which heated the atmosphere very slightly. The effects of the on, on the ionosphere would only have lasted until the heat dissipated. It is a layer of the Earth's atmosphere which can affect radio communications, GPS systems, radio telescopes, and even... Uh, some understanding of the weather system. This research, this research is really important if we're going to understand the ionosphere as a whole. We know that the ionosphere is, is controlled by solar activity, but it varies much more when uh, more than can currently be explained. The results are published in the European Geosciences Union Journal, Annals Geophysicae. All right, so apparently these bombs could affect the ionosphere and the atmosphere up above on the planet. So earthquakes, volcanoes, bombs, and lightning strikes can affect the atmosphere. That's pretty interesting. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. Hope it was an interesting view. Hope you guys liked. Hit the like button, subscribe, and see you guys next time. God bless you guys.